this device was made so that anyone with a sixth grade education and up could just walk by and see a patient who needs to be defibrillated and be able to pick up and use it. A pad to patient's bare chest. Most importantly, everything is blue on this side, including the switch itself, so that they know if the switch is facing that way, then it's on the blue side and the A-pad is on. So when you first get them, they'll shock from A to C. And if that doesn't work, you flip a switch right here and they'll shock from B to C. And it gives the patient a second chance to be revived if the first shock doesn't go well. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Uh, the Texas Heart Institute actually filed a provisional patent on our behalf. THI can continue to contest um, our device over the next year. And uh, in a year, we, we have a year to think about um, what the potential uh, future business applications of our device are. So after about two minutes of CPR compressions, um, then the instructions here instruct the user to flip the switch from A to B so they can send a different shock from B to C instead of A to C. Um, that, so 300,000 people die of sudden cardiac arrest each year and the percentage of them that die simply because an altered vector is not available or they weren't able to apply a second shock in as small a time as they should have we could save approximately 13,000 lives per year. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. And the cycle would continue and repeat until you have resuscitated your patient or if the patient flatlines.